Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're going to a new theme park we've never been to. Neither of us. Neither of us. We are at SeaWorld Orlando. Look at this picture us -ness. Look at that. Those are not real. But look at these waves. Why are they doing this? It looks like there's two orcas over there, or dolphins. They don't look orcas. I'm super excited. We both are, t are super excited. We've never been here before. The park is not even open yet. Um, it's just water, it's just sea lion. You know. we're, we, don't, we don't know what to expect. I'm not sure. We know it's opening in 10 minutes. We know it's open until seven or eight. Um, I really want to go on the virtual reality roller coaster. Sarah's really nervous about the roller coasters. She feels like she hasn't been on one, I like a big like one. I haven't been on a big roller coaster in a while. I'm excited, I'm not nervous. Yeah. Look at, there's Shamu. Yay! How do you feel right now, Sarah? I feel really weird. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't caught on, if you haven't caught on yet, Sarah feels extremely weird when she's in an extremely themed place or a theme park that's not Disney World, especially. It's like danger, do not enter things. I bet someone climbed over. It's kind of like the other ones. This map, by the way, SeaWorld, please, please get one that can fold easily. Um, I oh, love look it. Look at these flamingos. This is the Greater Flamingo. They're like vibrant. Yeah. Ooh, look how tall that one is. Oh, they all woke up. Riders of this attraction will be exposed to forces, speeds, and other intense features that may cause distress or injury to persons with pre existing health conditions. Yes, you have any type of arm and aesthetic device, I am sure. So we just went on Manta, and that was super cool. Yeah, it's, it's super high. Super high, and we haven't been on like a roller coaster like that in like yeah. seven it's years. It's one that like puts you on your belly, so yeah. that you're like lying. So you're suspended, like you're like you're Superman. Yeah. Which I say that because the only other ride that I've been on like that is the Superman ride in, in uh, Flags. Six Flags Great America, which is the theme park like that we like grew up going to. I mean, I, we didn't go. We went a lot during high school. Yeah, we got we got what two years or three years? I think three. Three years, three summers in a row. Me and Sarah got a annual passes to Six Flags Great America, and we used it like a lot then. But yeah. since the college program, I we haven't been back. Uh -uh. So it'll be interesting that if we ever go back there to kind of compare the like pre Disney experience to post Disney experience. Yeah. But now we're gonna try to make our My way over to. The only thing I didn't like was the sign was in Comic Sans. That's Sarah's graphic design coming out, but now... I feel like everybody knows Comic Sans. I know, but that's your your little nuance of being worried about it. Now we're going over to Kraken and see how long the wait is for that because it's got that 3D virtual reality headset that you wear while you're on the roller coaster. So we're not super into SeaWorld regulars yet, but we're going on Kraken Unleashed and it's only a five minute wait, yeah. which I presume is a great thing. I'm sure we'll be on it again, Jill and Jane. But we're just trying to make the most of our day, our, our day here. Trying to make the most of our day here. Hydration. And I like that hydration station. I'm super excited because it's... Ah. Oh, my hair is going to be a little crazy today. So we just did Kraken Unleashed, which is the old Kraken roller coaster with virtual reality headset. And uh, Sarah had a good time. Yeah. I didn't... Terrible. I didn't because something was wrong with my headset. And so you're in a submarine. So like you can look forward and you're looking out to the ocean. If you turn left or right, you can see the side of the submarine. Something was wrong with my headset and I was facing inside the submarine the whole time. So like I didn't see the Kraken. I didn't know where we were going, where we were turning next. It was very disorienting because I couldn't see where, what was happening. Yeah. I heard people on the ride enjoying it, like screaming and then like it would shake or whatever, but I looked inside the submarine the whole time. I couldn't turn I'm away so sorry. anywhere. But we're gonna go on it again it's later. Like, it's almost like Flight of Passage. It's not crystal clear it's more like a, like a computer game almost and but you actually like like flight of passage like but you actually are moving so it, it's really cool like when when we got off Peter was like did you like it and he like didn't seem like you liked it I'm like yeah why didn't you like it and then he said that so we'll be back on it though <laughs> 
and that and make or like the reasons why I want to come here. Well, that's the thing is like with that type of technology, there's bound to be glitches every yeah. so often. So I'm not gonna. I'll give you a hopefully a better review once we go on in a second time and actually experience. I enjoyed it. Which I means if she enjoyed it, I means I'm gonna love it if I can actually experience it. Yeah. That it feels like back at home. Sarah, 32 degrees out. It feels so good. It feels like home. <laughs> I'm cold though. Look at this, look at these, look at how close you can get. <gasps> Ooh, feel this. Sarah. It feels like snow. <gasps> look how close you can get. I've never seen that oh kind of I've never seen this kind of penguin. <laughs> oh. I haven't looked under here yet. Antarctica. Oh, oh, we can go down. Do you want to go down underneath the water? Yeah. Oh, oh my. Spotted ya. This is what Sarah. This is what Sarah, that's what Sarah would be if she was an animal. Yes, I you, agree. You would just kind of like lounge all day. Maybe that's my patrolman. So we just got off, oh there's one, there's a big one over there, it's talking. Um, we just got off the Empire, Empire of the Penguins ride. Mm -hmm. What did you think of it? I, I did it. It was, it was awesome. So it was like a, more like a ride through. I, obviously the penguins are my number one favorite thing, but the thing I, I really, like, yeah, that was cool. The thing I really liked about it was the ride mechanism. Like you were in this big, this thing, this like pod that said eight, two rows of four, <coughs> and it could, it could go, it could like move like this way, this way, it could spin all while the whole thing could be moving without messing with how the seats were moving. Super cool. Yeah. I think he's sleepy. I think that's your favorite animal right there. That specific one, that little baby. My rock, my rock. Oh, that was cool. Did you chase yeah. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find us? Um, I know it's almost Halloween, and then it's gonna kick right into Christmas time. But check out all these Christmas trees. Let us know down below what what they do during Christmas time here, and if it's worth if we should come back and check it out. I hear some, some bing banging or going on over here.
right here by the Shamu Stadium is going to be Infinity Falls, which is going to be the world's largest or tallest river like water drop. Is that what they do? Does Rudolph come here? Rudolph's coming. Rudolph's coming. I saw the Christmas trees in the water. But we're making our way to the 12 o'clock show. The One Ocean, One Earth, One Ocean show. My hair is bonkers. Wow. Just left the one ocean show. It was incredible. Those are magnificently huge and beautiful animals. Yeah. It's a little bit weary going into it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I really, I don't know what to say about it. It was like they are really incredible. The relationships between the trainers and the animals are incredible. Now we're going on Mako. The biggest reason why I wanted to come here. What is this? Like the longest, tallest, fastest? Bestest roller coaster? So. I've been so excited to go on this. So. Okay, Mako, which was like the biggest thing I wanted to come to here for. Besides, like the Kraken VR was exciting, but I really wanted to come here for Mako ever since they started constructing it and Tim Tracker was always here talking about it. It is so good. And we've got the Raging Bull at the Six Flags Great America. But that's like just like the one big, big drop. This is incredible. I'm incredible. Like from it. I was so scared because it's just like a, a like a, it's down. like a lap, lap bar push, like a lap pusher keeping you in. Yeah, it doesn't go over. And I forgot, because we haven't been on these kind of roller coasters in six or seven years, I forgot how free and like exposed and naked yeah, like, you feel. Thrilling that, like you're that alone. 200 feet in the air, 300 feet in the air, and you're just like, there's really, it feels like nothing's there holding you, you down. just like, trust these rides. Mako was great, and we walked on the first time, and now like, there's only one ride between you going on and getting on. Like going up there, you wait one ride, then get on. We got really good with times today. Guys, I think I'm getting old. Uh -huh. We said before, like it's been six or seven years since we went on roller coasters like this. We've gone on four, if you count Mako, Tudan, Manta, Kraken, Mako twice. We'll probably do Kraken again so I can try to do the VR, the normal headset, but I have a splitting headache. And I can't tell if it's from like, I had coffee today. I don't know if it's that I didn't have enough coffee or if it's just a headache or if it's from all the jostling around, but I think I need to go see some animals and cool it for a minute or two. And my hair is bonkers. I didn't bring a hat. Do Mako. That's one of the best thrill roller coasters ever. We came back to the penguins because Jill wanted to see them. But it's so much colder this time after it got hotter and I'm sweaty and we got covered in water from the Orca show. It's so much colder here now. Um, I'm no animal expert, but I don't know what's going on over here. But there's some weird water aerobics going on with these sea lions. We decided after going on some rides and meeting up with Jill and James that on top of this being Jill's favorite part that we were just coming out here for a while because these little guys are adorable. I like this guy right here. I like this guy a lot. He's just chilling off by himself. He's got his own little rock. Soaking up the sun. We're doing the dolphin show today at 1.30 and it's 12.50 right now. We've done a lot and we've only been here like three and a half hours. But this is one of the things I'm very excited for. The Stingray Lagoon. I'm gonna feel like Moana's grandma. Wow. Look at these Stingray pups. 
Look how cute that one is. Oh my god. Did you touch them? Oh, I want to try. <laughs> I'm loving all the Jimmy Buffett music being played here. Here's the Dolphin Cove. We're going to see the Dolphin Show soon. Straight out of Nemo is what Sarah was trying to say. <laughs> How did we get to Sydney, guys? Tell me. Wait. <laughs> Sarah, does that freak you out a little bit? Sarah gets freaked out by really big things. Big buildings, big animals. It's just like hard to believe it's real. Yeah. That's a living thing right there. So this is a cool rehabilitation center for the manatees and they rescue them and bring them here. There was that one that looked really sick but we found out that she was hit by a boat and has a punctured lung and she's on a lot of painkillers and medication right now. And she looked like she was in rough shape but they're like, no, she's gonna be fine. Like, they only bring animals that they, and it's sad as, as sad as it is, like they only bring animals here that they can save to not waste, not waste but not use resources on animals that they know wouldn't be able to be rescued. So we saw like five or six manatees up there that you know, those ones will be re rehabilitated and released. Whereas the ones over here that we saw, like that one, are permanent residents of SeaWorld. Well, where they will stay here forever. It's super nice. Yeah. It's, it's hard because you obviously hear and see different things about SeaWorld, but there is a lot of good that this organization does do. And that the future is good. Maybe not everything that happened in the past was great, but now they're, they're working for it. And it's another thing of like education and, and inspiration. Like Jill is a, loves animals and conservation and everything. And what if there wasn't a place in some capacity like this? But it's nice to see the good things they do. Because I'm like four years old, I'm forcing all of our grown-ups, because we're only grown-ups here, forcing them to bring me to the trick-or-treat section. Because it's Halloween time and you got to go trick-or-treating. See, this is why I wanted to come here. It's a hammer uh, Sea World Halloween Spooktacular. See, guys, we There's needed to come. I am supposed to say, this is why I wanted to come here. See, it's an event. Thank you. All right, we got our bags. Spooktacular awaits. Trick or treat. Woo, thank you. Good, how are you? Well, thank you for asking. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, guys. It's just condiments. Trick or treat. I want a honey mustard. <laughs> Enter here. Trick or treat. Thank you, Marcus. No I appreciate it. Hello. Oh, there's a line. Alright, here's my blunt, honest review of. Halloween Spooktacular from SeaWorld. Everybody needs to go for the candy. We just got so much candy. It's like this thing is half full. And they gave us king size, some new Oreo candy chocolate bar. So it's like a chocolate bar with crushed up Oreo inside it. They gave each of us, yes, they gave each of us like six. So that was amazing. And this is all included in your admission to the park, except for the, the games. The games, are five for 20, but the, the trick or treating, the whole area, the little, there's a dance party with special characters. There was like roller skating. Roller skating goldfish. Creatures. All included in your park admission. Definitely, I was surprised. Is, is, did they do this like Christmas too, Jill? Do you know? 
I think they do, like I think some sort of, there's something here. They do some sort of Christmas thing? Yeah. Let me know down below if they do a Christmas thing that's, that's like spectacular, because we'll have to come back for Christmas if that's the case. Hey everybody, until I decide what hat I'm going to wear, this is what we're dealing with. But we are home from SeaWorld. We've actually been home for quite some time now, maybe like four hours. But we went out to eat with Jill and James, because uh, we hadn't seen him in a while. And we came home and I had like a food baby, so I just like fell asleep on the ground. Sarah's trying to rest right now from that cough, but we've... She was working on some designs, I was playing with the dog and sleeping. And now we're trying to decide if we feel up for going to Magic Kingdom tonight or not, or if we're just going to kind of lay low. But, I wanted to show you. I don't know if this one's mine, I think this one's Sarah's. I wanted to show you the candy we got from the Spooktacular at SeaWorld. And I wanted to thank them for uh, letting us come out and see that park for our first time. This is what we got. I, don't, I think it was because of how hot it was that they had like six giant boxes of these. King size, two bars in there. They give each of us six. Six of these. Ridiculous. And then we got other stuff like these gummies, Twizzlers. Online I said there was going to be Junior Mints, but I didn't see them. And I, don't, I'm, I thought we did the whole uh, trick-or-treating trail, but maybe we didn't. But then we had M&Ms and everything else. So because it was hot today, it was like 93, these bad boys have been in the freezer, so I gotta have one now that they're nice and frozen. I will say that the roller coasters were amazing there. I haven't been on a roller coaster like that in like years, and it was really awesome to experience that. And I've always heard that like their bigger ones like Mako, well, not all of them, because they only have three main roller coasters. I've always heard that they are amazing. Sarah, Sarah, what was gonna be your favorite one? What? Your favorite roller coaster would it end up being Kraken? No. Mako? Mako. Mako is my favorite too, but I, I'm sad that we never, we kind of chose not to go back in line because it did get a little busier and I was just not feeling okay really with a bad headache or something. So we didn't go on a Kraken. So unfortunately I didn't get to go on a Kraken and have like a proper working uh, virtual reality headset, but Sarah thought it was really cool. She suggested going on it. And uh, I think both our favorites was Mako, which is awesome because it's the tallest, fastest, longest roller coaster in the Orlando market. So that was really cool. But it was a lot of fun. I'd go back, I kind of want to go back during uh, the Christmas time because I hear they've got a lot of fun stuff going on at Christmas time. Like they've got a water show and we saw a stage that looked like a giant version of like a, the Phantasmic Bowl and a water area that looks much bigger, almost World of Color size. Um, but I don't, I've never seen any videos or heard anything about it. Um, but we did see a lot of Christmas trees being put up. So that would be kind of cool. All right, everybody. We did not end up going to a park. We decided just to rest. But that's what we needed, I think. And we have all tomorrow, too. But Sarah's asleep, Eve is asleep. I actually got a head start and started editing today's vlog for to be posted tomorrow today. So that's kind of cool. But with that, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>